Hi, I'm Nate Jansen from the CNB Operations Integrated Solutions Support Center. And today, we're going to talk about diagnosing AutoTrack using the AutoTrack Pi. First off, we're going to go to the bottom right hand corner of our display to bring up our menu button. From here, if we're using a Green Star 2 2600 or 1800 display, the Green Star icon will look like what is shown on the screen. If we're using a GS3 2630 or command center display, the icon will look different but still have Green Star in the title of it. So we'll go ahead and select the Green Star icon. From the main Green Star page, we're going to go to Soft Key C, labeled as Diagnostics, and it has a picture of a book with a wrench. When we enter that page, you'll notice that it says View. It has a drop down box in the top center, currently labeled with GPS. We want to select this drop down box and change that view to Auto Track. When we bring up the Auto Track diagnostic page, on the left hand side under State, it's going to show the different portions of the Auto Track Pi. The center of the table is going to show us the different conditions that have to be met in order to Auto Track. And the far right side of the table under status, it's going to tell us which conditions do or don't meet the required components in order to auto track. In this case, if we look down our status list, we're looking for anything that says no or n slash a or not available. As we look down the list, we're going to see under tracking mode selected, it's going to say guidance off. So on our guidance page, we're only going to show one portion of the auto track pie because the conditions aren't met to get the second piece. The auto track pie on this diagnostic page gives us a quick and easy look at the required conditions that need to be met in order to auto track and also to diagnose any issues with our system. And now we've successfully diagnosed our auto track using the auto track pie. Thank you for choosing CNB Operations, committed to being your dealer of choice.